The intro here takes about a minute or so, but starts after that. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And as you read in the title, this is about airbags and putting airbags underneath your truck and what it does when you're towing and such. Everything in this video you can buy on my Amazon influencer page or whatever it's called down below in the link. Chevy diesel Suburbans, Trans Ams like you ain't never seen and all kinds of stuff. I got trucks and here's the truck that we put the airbags on. At this point they're on and as you can see, it ain't sagging it at all, buddy. It's just nice. So these airbags are a very simple upgrade. This video is a very quick video just to run through and it don't show you step by step install but it shows you what you get and what you got to do pretty much. The main thing I wanted to show into is what it does to your truck and how it makes it keep that weight up. My truck used to sag. I'm going to try and throw a picture in right here of the sag it did with something else. And that's the deal. Enjoy. That's that. Thanks for watching. Make sure and subscribe, like, comment. Check out my whole series of videos on this V10. I'm doing everything to it. Methanol injection, programmer, exhaust, you name it. We're going to see what it does. Now, my excursion is a two-by, and basically I've pulled, 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 pulled. And I think my, I think my rear springs are a little bit compromised. Um, Rich keeps saying that my truck just tips back too much. And you know, I'm not going to argue that. It probably does tilt a little to the back, especially when I've got... Uh, trailer on it this okay this is the airlift load lifter 5000 adjustable air springs link is in the description below let's go on my v10 ford it comes with all these wonderful parts here and this airbag right over there and there the hand on it just to give a, a thing of size and then once you build your little cage or what have you it looks like this Zoom this out, pick it up and put it in the middle. And you got your little air adjuster, air valves on there and stuff. Not adjuster, just air valves. And this actually replaces the bump stops on your truck. Now, the, this ain't how they usually look, but this is mine. Look at this. It's all chewed up. That's one of them. That's closer to how they look. But just the springs being wore and carrying really heavy loads and being ran off the road once going into a ditch. These things kind of disintegrate over time. And I guess you could do something with them to keep them a little more pliable. But this is not pliable. That ain't got no ply in it. But these things are pretty interesting. We'll see how it does underneath it. Um, Rich will show you on here with the light exactly where it's going on and what came off here. Now to put these little pieces together, I just asked Rich. I said, how long is this going to take to put this one together? He says three or four minutes. So, I mean, it is just two bolts and stuff going through. Let me get my light over here. Pretty simple little process, but a lot of load handling help from what I've read, from what I've heard, and what we're gonna figure out here pretty soon once they're on here. These workshop lights are so freaking funky. I'm amazed you kept the bulb working so long. I have to take that bulb out of that. <laughs> put it in there, dude. Top bolts screw into the actual spring, air spring, and the bottom ones actually screw into the air spring? Yeah. Show me the bottom. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. Let me try and get a different angle here. There we go. Right there. I'll turn this around. Hey, leave it right there. It's perfect. So you can see what it does there and all that good stuff. Now like I say, link in the description below. That's pretty cool. So the actual air spring is manufactured with everything in it. There's, it's a sealed unit with bolts going into the top to hold in the top, bolts in the bottom. It's like, it's in there. That's pretty cool. And technically right now you could drive your truck just fine with no problem with these pieces of poops out. But man, I haul a lot of weight. And I really think this is going to add a lot of more weight handling stability to it. It's going to make your headlights correct. <laughs> make my headlights go the right way. Okay, I don't know what video I'll throw this in, but these are the MGK plugs that we got. And I'll tell you what, we saved a lot of money on um, over O'Reilly. And I have an account there, and you can't get what you can get on Amazon. Look in the link below, and you'll see my Amazon store. And check that out, it's in there. 
All right, the factory bump stop, which is this, was mounted right there. You can see the spot on the frame that's clean where it was mounted. You have to remove that for this application. This is all assembled with your airline fitting in. You have to pre-insert this bolt because if you don't, you're not able to get it in after the fact. Um, this thing right here, this assembly sits on the axle like this and under the frame right there the bolt hole where the um, bump stop was originally mounted is where this bolt goes through um, in this application you have to undo the factory bolt that holds the brake line and you utilize that bolt in your mount I have to set this on top of the axle right here making sure I don't pinch the, the brake line obviously but so you can see I got it in place have to adjust it around a little bit get some bolts on it have to move the brake line a little bit it says may have to bend it a little but that's generally how it sits in there just drop the u-bolts around the bottom of the axle there's two bolts that hold the bracket up into the top and then i'll tighten the bolts up here to the other side and then we'll run some airlines so we're going to go ahead and put air in him he's got it all installed all in all it was about a four and a half hour job i'm thinking because you, all you did was that forward in between the fuel pump right rich yes so there's the entry ports for the air and it probably will lift it up especially with no load on it putting some air in it so let's see what it does here we're gonna put in 80 pounds and these will hold five to a hundred it says I took that thing way up There's 70. 70 okay put 70 on the other side I want to see if it lifts this side up even from the other side yeah it does yeah that's a good three four inches okay it's crooked in the driveway so the other side is definitely gonna show like it's higher but here we go letting it down and that's one airbag Definitely go down a lot more from the other side because it is definitely um, cockeyed in the driveway. Okay, so we're gonna pump this thing up to about 65 pounds or so. It's, it says it can go from five to 100. Holy smokes, that's three and a half inches. That could be four inches, it just went up. 55 pounds. So the other one might take it. Is that both? It's just one, right? It's just one, yeah. You know, one improvement would be if they had some kind of a T to where you had to go in through one hole. But I guess it's better to set them up independent. It's going up more. So that is that. That is up. Wow. Okay. That is the deal. So now, real quickly, we're going to let it down again. So this is taking all the air out of it. Not in the super fastest, fastest, fastest way, but it's the fastest way you're going to get it out. And I guarantee it's going to go down more when you hit the other side. So it's a lot. It's a lot. And you can imagine, if you have a trailer on this, what it's going to do to it and how it's going to make the load handle better and not leave you squatted down the back. Now my thing was I bought new um, Zenon headlights with the little fans in them and stuff but it was because my trailer was so heavy on the back. So we'll pump it up again and give you the outro and that's the deal. That's what it is. This thing I looked it up was about 328 bucks. Here we go. Yeah, that's that's three or four. That's four inches, man. Yeah, 
man, if you could put these on the front, that'd be a cheap way to lift your, well, not cheap, but it'd be a cool way to lift your truck. Yeah, it inches up when you're doing the other side, too. Well, that's the deal. That's it. I'm going to go around the other side, show it to you. I'm doing another video. You can check my channel. All the products are down in the description below, and you can buy these in my Amazon store. Check that out. And I'm here to tell you, check out the videos on the V10 because they're a powerhouse. They do what they're supposed to do and at a fraction of the cost of a diesel. So, okay, that's the deal. That's the thing. Enjoy. We'll talk to you.